morning, Toffee Two Wheels here. Today I'm going to Honda Blackpool, test ride a Honda 1100 DCT CMX. So please join me shortly. Thank you. Bye. Well, this is the Honda 1100 DCT. Think of that. It's got some optional lectures on it. Check it out for a little ride now. There you go, just a normal, uh, it's not a TFT screen that, it's just a um, LCD screen. Got 80 grips on it, they're not standard as well. Yet another um, motorcycle test today. DCT version. This is quite nice actually, quite enjoying this. Sat, sit back a bit. The DCT is phenomenal on this. Position the mirrors a bit better. So a lot of people don't like DCTs, but I love them. I'd like to know what you think. Well, please leave a comment. What are you doing on a Wednesday morning? I'm testing this. I find the seat very comfy as well. A bit more um, stretched out arms. Not sat right over it, a bit more in a more relaxed position with this bike. It's extremely light, extremely comfortable. I don't know about a, a, a European tour on it, but I don't know. There's not much buffeting. But then again, I'm not on the motorway, am I? this DCT is brilliant on it, it's just, you can just override it and flick it to manual with the buttons there. Oh, like the suspension is not the, not the best, <laughs> but it's a low down bike. And I can flat foot it that easy, because the seat height is not that much. Wouldn't like that. Wouldn't like to take a guess what it is but I can flat foot it and then some nice nimble bike lovely colour the mirrors are very diddy it's probably suits somebody who's about under six foot really right let's cut to the water in then Today I'll be reviewing this Honda 1100 CMX, it retails for about 10,600, nice in black with a nice brown seat, it's got a few extras on it which I'll show you a closer view later, the ignition key goes in the side of the Honda, um, it's a bit more a sit up and beg type of style than I'm used to but it's very nice. I think maybe I'm a little bit too tall for this version and if you're interested in getting one after this review please don't hesitate to contact Honda Supercentre in Blackpool and speak to Chris Shaw and he'll be only too happy to help. Um, I will show you a closer view around this motorcycle so you can see everything that I'm talking about including the, um, the screen which is not a TFT it's just a, a normal LCD screen. You can see saddlebags there which are not standard and the nice backrest. 
the seat is really plush and really comfy. I think that tank's about a 17 litre tank. And the LCD screen there, when I turn it on, you can see it. There's, there's keys at the side there. You've got your slapper pedals here. Down. And up. You've got all your toddles here. There's, there's the uh, LCD screen. And you can go into different modes. Sports mode. Standard. Ray mode. I'll, I'll put it in sports mode for the next one when I ride it. And all your dials are there. And the heater grips, like I said before, are not standard on this. It's not a bad little bike, this, for 10,600. Quite comfortable. I don't know if it could be in a long tour, but it looks nice. I like the... Um, the white stripe across the mud guard and the dull finish it's got on it the forks are a nice um, iridium black as well the headlight's a bit, bit wacky Just let me know what you think about that tremendous little bike that but it reminds me of the Kawasaki VN800 So then, please leave some likes and some comments on what you think about this bike. Personally, I quite like it, however it's a little bit tiny for me, so we'll see you back on the test ride. Turns all right, doesn't it? This is in sports now. This is a little bit more This is a bit little bit more porkier in sports. As usual, stuck behind traffic. Maybe a little time for a little bit of sneaky sneaking. This position is a little bit alien to me. However, it's not not comfortable, it's okay. Got a little bit more urgency about it on the sports mode on this. Don't think it's got self cancelling indicators because they don't seem to be self cancelling. Or maybe that's user error. And I must remind me not to go over the speed bumps because it's not that comfy going over big bumps. Very nice and light, easy flickable. I think, like I said, for a shorter person, it could, but with, without big long arms, long legs like I've got, it'd probably be a little bit more ergonomically pleasing, let, let's see. Pulls alright, but it should do, it's 1100cc, really, shouldn't it? <laughs> This DCT box is faultless. Honda do a really good DCT. Well, I don't think anybody else does it, tell you the truth. I don't think this is a two-up bike, personally. I think it's just a one-person bike. However, let me know your thoughts, please, and views. And please like and subscribe to my channel. I've also got some merchandise, hoodies, t-shirts, and the likes. If anybody's interested. Whoa, that's pretty quick, isn't it? Bit of a um, bit of a blip there. It's very deceiving this motorcycle. 
very deceiving. I think you know you're just tootling along, as soon as you put that throttle back, it goes. It does. And it sounds alright as well, that's done the pipe on. Not, not, don't think you're gonna be putting slash cut on this really. Yeah, I would say that the screen is detachable. I don't know if you can put a bigger screen on it. It definitely doesn't um, adjust. You can see that by the screws in it. The heater grips are adequate as well, I must say. Yeah, and that concludes the end of our ride. Let me know what you think, please. I've got to take it back now. So that's Taffy Two Wheels. Over and out. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time. We'll see you on the flip side.